Hello! Uh, oh, it's the start of a video. So, hello everybody and welcome to my latest weekly reading vlog. I don't know what number it is, but you can probably see from the YouTube video. I am currently reading Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary, the creator of Horrible Histories. It's quite good so far. It's very interesting. I've been learning things. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I picked it up. But that's sort of all I've got for you. I'm just being productive this evening, you know? Uh... I just properly twatted myself in the foot. Um, a big stack of books fell down and landed on my foot and it hurt quite a lot. And now I'm pretty anxious that maybe I've broke a toe on my foot. But I think it's okay. I can still bend. Bloody hell, it just really fucking hurts. Ow. What a start to this vlog. Oh, and Biggie's meowing because he wants me to go and open the door. I better add, actually. Because we have another problem. Don't we, Biggie? He started using my outdoor garden as a litter tray. So now I'm going to have to... Well, my indoor garden is my porch garden. So now I'm going to have to dig out all of the soil in the boxes he's been using and replace it with kitty litter. And then he can have it as a litter tray, I guess. I don't know. He hasn't really given me much choice. Having said that, he's not currently pissing, so that's a start. Oh, I made some pickles. Do you want to see my pickles? These are my shallots. And these are my sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil. Ow. It's definitely not broken. It just hurts a lot. I can tell it's not broken because... I can just tell it's not broken. Because when I, th when I think I possibly broke my finger, it didn't feel like this. And my finger like mushroomed right up. I don't know if you can still tell actually. I don't think you can. It's that pink, the one there, that one, my index finger. You can see I was kind of like bent in a little bit. I can try and, yeah. It's quite st stiff as well. Door slammed on it. I still managed to type though. I was typing like this for a while. <laughs> oh, I've got a stomach ache. Oh, I might have drank too much juice. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and be in pain. Oh, God, it feels like there's an alien chest hugger in me. Um, today is today. It's Monday. I had a Zoom call earlier. I think I have another Zoom call tomorrow. Oh, oh. I don't... That's not good, that's a very painful thing. I've been being productive when I haven't been in pain. Um, I read, oh, I'm still reading Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary. And I read Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss, which is a Dr. Seuss book, but it's all tongue twisters. And I only read it, like I didn't read it out loud, I just read it reading normally. Ah, oh, and ah. Uh, Ah, this is really painful. And it was it was okay, but it was hard to focus on it. Because um, it's like lots of very similar words in a long sentence. I mean, it's designed to be a tongue twister, obviously. But it was almost nonsensical, but not nonsensical enough. So there was meaning to it as well. So it was just a bit... It was twisting my melon, as they say. Oh, it's really hard to focus on what I'm trying to say here. It is passing though, it's passing. It, it was like a brain freeze of the stomach, except also actually now I do have a headache as well. Wonderful. I'm gonna go make some food in a bit. I got some new saucepans today. They were a Christmas present for my mum. So I'm thinking about making pea and mint soup, which I'm especially thinking about now. I have a bloody stomach ache. And I thought just a little bit of balsamic vinegar dri drizzled on top of that, that might be really nice. So I might go do that in a minute. Oh. Okay, reading update. I have finished reading Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary. Non-fiction-y stuff. I'm a bit confused by who the target audience was because it kind of reads as though it's still written for kids but then it also included the word fucker in it. So, I don't know. But uh, it was alright. It did get a bit tiring towards the end because he, kept, he used so many footnotes. We're talking like pages had like four footnotes on them and stuff. 
Um, but at least there weren't any quizzes because I always found that kind of annoying with the horrible histories books. You kind of have to stop and start because of it. Overall, it was I. Uh, yeah, like 3.5 out of 5, probably. Uh, review coming soon. I'm now going to read a dolphin song by Lauren St. John. Um, I did actually start it and was going to read it as a bedtime book, but because it's, it's going to be such an easy read, and I really want to keep my bedtime books for stuff that, it, like, I've just started reading The Thorn Birds, which is like 550 pages of tiny print. It's very good, but I wouldn't want it as my main book, you know? So, um,. Dolphin song, I think I can plough through this in a day or two and uh, yeah, just tick it off, you know? So that's where I'm at. Hello chums, it is Thursday, it's 9.08 a.m. on the morning of Thursday the 3rd of December. I need to make a note to flip my calendar here. My computer's going super slow, man. I can basically not really do anything on it. That's how slow it is. Uh, I mean, I've been able to do a bit of work, I suppose. I've been up all night. I might get to nap later. It sort of depends. Uh, Susie is supposed to be coming round, so that should be good. We're gonna have some pizza and maybe watch a movie. Uh, then I think she's staying over tonight, tomorrow night and Saturday night. Um, Friday she'll be at work, obviously. So I'll get another work day in then, and whatever work I get done today. Uh, and I'm already working ahead to the point at which, basically I'm doing, I do an hour a day on the art center, so I'm doing my Saturday and Sunday time for the art center, and I wanna get that done today. And then uh, that leaves me pretty well placed, you know. Then I'm catching up, I've got one client who I need to do eight hours of stuff for, so I'll do as much of that as I can over the weekend as well, but, um, I guess there's no real rush on that. So yeah, I am kind of working ahead with some stuff, which is good, because I can have some time off. Um, I finished reading Dolphin Song by Lauren St. John. It was quite good. I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. It's currently falling apart a little bit. I am going to do a review of it, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And then I read both Dr. Seuss, the Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book and uh, The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Both of these like 3.5. Just reading them, tick them off. I'm slowly but surely working my way through all of Dr. Seuss's published books alongside all the other work, uh, authors I'm working on. I mean, speaking of which, I've got The Clocks here by Agatha Christie. Um, and I've been, I think I've only got one other Agatha Christie book after this. I am enjoying The Clocks so far though. So I'm reading that. Uh, I've got The Thorn Birds as my bedtime book and then also and then also I'm reading this like Bandes Dessinaire, which is a French graphic novel basically. Um, it's like an espionage one. I can't remember who it's uh, by though. But it's, it's pretty good. So that's where I'm at. I'm uh, watching videos from The Chase on YouTube, which is a British quiz TV show. I love The Chase. I'm a nerd for it. In fact, I'm gonna apply to see if I can go on it. Um, filming wise, I guess I have to do my wrap up now, which will be the start of my next wrap up. Um, and then I need to finish off my reviews of, I need, well I need to film a review of Lauren St. John and then start my review of the clocks and then I can record next week's radio show as well. Um, and I've already done the interview for that too. So in fact I can technically record next week's radio show and then start recording the radio show for the week after that, which I might do. Your fam, it's your boy Dane Cobain. There's a big green screen behind me, as you can see. So, um, yeah, that's a thing now. I might actually start filming my vlogs either on a static cam, or I might even just, if I just stand here, and just hold the camera like this, you know. Uh, the lighting isn't great at the moment because I need to turn the actual lighting on, but yeah, then we have three-point lighting here. And then I'd be able to just, as I'm doing, giving you my vlogs, I could be anywhere! Look, I'm in France! I don't know if I could be bothered to edit that. I might edit that, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I mean, uh, I've been working on some stuff with Susie for Lord Literature and Madam Media, which is our YouTube channel, go check it out. And um, I've really been enjoying like, being more creative, I guess, with the booktube stuff. Um, and so I'm gonna attempt to do that more for my videos now. So I'm thinking about for my book reviews, I could have the camera on a steady camera and shoot them standing up in front of the green screen and then I can just change the background for something relevant. So for example, like I've got an Asimov review to do soon, so why not have that in space in front of some stars, you know? And um, build up like a repository of suitable green screen uh, 
potential footage. Although I still don't always remember to <laughs> open the um, shutters properly on this. But anyway, it is Sunday, December the 6th, I think. Uh, update wise, I left my books over there, but I finished reading The Clocks by Agatha Christie. It was very good. Dedicated review coming soon. And now I'm currently reading the early Asimov volume 3. Uh, again, dedicated review of that coming soon as well. So that's what I've got to film. Uh, we shot this weekend. Well, I'll go over my weekend, I guess. So uh, Susie came over. She came over Thursday and then she was over, over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think. Um, Saturday, we went into town and did some bits in town. Uh, and then we set up the green screen and shot this video for Lord Literature and Madam Media, uh, which is a, like a video on stoicism. So do check that out. Um, what else did we do? We watched some films and stuff. We've been watching some Netflix. And then today, we went to uh, a vegan market in town, which was nice. We bumped into my boss at the art centre, the guy at the art centre whose job I took over, and my friend Neil. So it was good to see some people. Um, and yeah, got some nice nibbles. It's like a red velvet uh, cake cookie thing. It was really good. So that is where we're at, but I'm going to love you and leave you now, and then we're going to go over to the new vlog, which I guess will be with this new style in front of the green screen. Uh, and I'll just... We'll see how it goes. You'll have to let me know what you think of all the green screen shit because it might also get annoying. So anyway, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know it in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.